Hey there, today we'll be talking about how place value works. Let's say we are shopping for apples and we need 43 of them to make some apple pies. Picking 43 apples one by one would be a bit tiring, right? But then we noticed that the grocery store also sells apples in bundles of 10. This will make our shopping a lot easier because if we get four bundles of 10, we will already have 40 apples. Then we just need to get three separate apples to have a total of 43 apples. These bundles of 10 help us to understand place value. The position that a digit has in a number determines its place value. In our previous example, 43 has four tens, which is 40, and three ones, which is three. The four is in the tens place and the three is in the ones place. In the number 63, six is in the tens place value and three is in the ones place value. Let's try another example by counting the blocks below. These first three stacks have 10 blocks each. While there are four blocks that are not stacked into blocks of 10. We can say that the stacks are three tens and the separate blocks are four ones, which means we have 34 blocks in total. Next, let's count the number of tens and ones from the dots below. Can you guess how many tens we have here? That's right, we have six tens because there are six boxes that have 10 dots each. Notice that there are eight dots that are not boxed into groups of 10. So we have eight ones. In total, we have 68 dots. Now let's try converting between tens and ones. Match the tens to the ones or the ones to the tens. Five tens is equal to 50 ones. Three tens is equal to 30 ones. 70 ones is equal to seven tens. 10 ones is equal to one ten. And nine tens is equal to 90 ones. Let's keep practicing with place value. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Let's practice the number 67. How could you show 67 using place value? Model place value by showing six groups of 10 and then adding seven more. You can do this with a partner. With your partner, you can each write a different number on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. The number should be greater than 10 and less than 100. Keep your number a secret, then take turns showing each other the number you wrote down. See how fast each of you can show each other's numbers using groups of 10. Winner gets a high five. Let's try a challenge. Ready for a bigger number to represent using place value? Try showing the number 124 using groupings of 10. Great job working with place value. See you again soon. Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today.